Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, Luther your shells, Nestle, Service, Peasants, Vassals, Minions, Voters. Are there any? I'm a useful idiot. Welcome in, uh, back to the U.S. of A. And uh, a once over for the uh, very anticlimactic uh, midterm elections here in the United States uh, for Congress and uh, other sorted uh, vacated bootlicker positions uh, throughout the country. And uh, so the, some of the highlights, of course, are the fact that uh, Arizona has uh, added a constitutional amendment that will make it easy for them to uh, fight back against federal laws that they find unconstitutional. And uh, then we also have uh, Monsanto and DuPont got together and spent $36 billion in Oregon and Colorado to make sure that uh, GMO foods would not be labeled. And a, a very exciting development, actually, California has redefined a lot of uh, offenses, including drugs and shoplifting. So uh, theoretically, uh, up to 10,000 prisoners could be released uh, fairly f uh, quickly if all these uh, crimes are, uh, are reduced from felonies to misdemeanors. I thought it was also interesting that they added fraud uh, to that list of uh, crimes or certain types of fraud that are now a misdemeanor instead of a felony. That seems rather convenient. And then, and then the big blockbuster, of course, is Oregon, Alaska, and Washington, D.C. have all uh, uh, legitimized and legalized recreational pot. And uh, so they join Washington, Colorado. And uh, so this movement grows. And, uh, but, of course, in most of the areas uh, in the South and the Midwest that, uh, at least at this point, have no interest uh, in that uh, direction, Interesting, too, is Florida um, almost legalized it. They had a 57% uh, in favor of legalized pot in Florida, but apparently they need a 60% majority there. And, uh, and behind the scenes, we had none other than Sheldon Adelson, uh, the big man himself, uh, the Zionist from Macau, and uh, he uh, uh, bankrolled the anti-pot movement in uh, Florida. So I guess he got... What he wanted. And then, uh, notably, we have new Bush to kick around in the future. Uh, George P. Bush has been elected uh, land commissioner, I think, down in Texas. So is launching his political career. And that, that title doesn't sound like much, but apparently it's fairly a powerful position in Texas. And he'll be moving up the ranks. So uh, remember that name, George P. Bush. We will be seeing it in the future, undoubtedly. And, uh, and then uh, I also want to... Uh, basically browbeat people a little bit because, uh, you know, we hear this constant uh, mantra, throw the bums out every year. Of course, the bums never get thrown out. So all these dipshits and douchebags like Lindsey Graham and Peter King and Harry Reid and John Boehner and Nancy Pelosi and John McCain, and all these fuckers are all going to be back. Despite of all the belly aching and all the crying and all the moaning about all the Congress, and they got this all-time low uh, rating. Uh, they continue to send these uh, clowns back so we get what we deserve, right? And um, and, then, and another part of this uh, that this brings up, along with the fact that uh, everybody says throw the bums out and then they vote for the exact same bums because everybody else's bums are bad, but not my bum. My bum's great. So uh, it, it's really that simple. So th this brings out another problem that we have with these uh, midterm elections is uh, lining up of the party line drones. So, you know, all these people that still, or the few people that still believe in the, the Republican Party actually standing for anything, and the few people that still believe the Democratic Party actually stands for anything, all line up and, and do their shouting and pointing and uh, sh uh, throw their parades, although it's pretty sub subdued this year. And, um, and just like uh, nobody wanted to be seen with Bush, nobody wants to be seen with Obama. So at least we're seems to be... Uh, we're making some sort of progress. So it uh, looks like the Republicans are going to control the Senate and the House. And as my friend John Barleycorn pointed out, it's probably just as well that we have even uh, worse gridlock now than we've had before because we don't really want Congress fucking doing anything. And we sure don't want Obama doing fucking anything else while he's in office. So this is probably a good thing. And uh, one of the uh, sub- stories we have going on here too that's a bad thing about this election apparently a lot of states have voted and here's another a banker gift voted to shift a lot of their public pension money 
into uh, risky financial services. So they're going to start uh, gambling in the, the stock market. So uh, so there's a there's something to look forward to. And um, what else can I say about? Uh, let's talk about voting. Uh, voting, I, I have a lot of mixed feelings about. I vote, and I'm adamant about voting because I just feel like I should on the very slim minor chance that my vote is actually going to count. Because, of course, we have lots of barriers, the elimination of third-party candidates, the Electoral College, um, all sorts of barriers uh, for any um, real candidate with real values. Uh, certainly my uh, values I'm looking for uh, is hardly ever going to get close. And then the ones that do um, certainly have their own problems. But uh, so voting is, is relative. And... Um, um, and then the, the 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 fact that we have electronic voting now uh, that pretty much guarantees that uh, essentially every election from now on will be completely rigged. I'm not even sure why they have all these billionaires go through the motions of uh, showering the political parties with all this money because they, they, they can just everybody save their money and just set up the the, the uh, rigged election ahead of time and just preset the the voting machines, the computers and the voting machines, because it's really that bad now. So, and then, and then, as everyone knows that's ever watched any of my videos, I hate all this political theater. It's just so empty and rhetorical, um, um, just mindless and mind numbing, um, dumb, dumbed down for the bewildered herd. All these catchphrases and all these empty promises and all this smiling, and uh, it's it's almost to the point where the elections are are almost irrelevant. And, uh, and yet this parade goes on, but that's because there's a, a flood of money going into the media. They they make a, a huge amount of money. I think 11% of their total yearly annual earnings are from uh, uh, political events like these. Uh, and then you have the flood of money uh, to the political parties and to the candidates. And uh, so that's uh, another spectacle. In fact, uh, another hats off to John Barleycorn for sending me this story about the, the, the fact that uh, 3.67 billion dollars was spent on the midterm election. So what a what a gargantuan monolithic waste of, of, of some kind of wealth, some kind of money. It could have been spent so much better on so many other things. But uh, take heart in the fact that uh, 59 billion dollars is how much Americans spent on beer last year. So um, considerably uh, higher, uh, what is that, five, six, seven times the amount uh, spent on um, on the election, or maybe even ten times, but uh, that shows where Americans' priorities are. They'd rather sit home and drink a lot of beer with their friends than go out and vote for another uh, gaggle of dipshits. And uh, who can blame them? Although personally, I find they go together well. I like to uh, get drunk and then watch the elections because then somehow it makes more sense. And uh, and then uh, the bottom line uh, is that. Of course, uh, that brings up the fact that 30 to 40, somewhere, uh, depending on the, the report you see, what statistics they have, somewhere between 30 and 40 and 50 percent of Americans don't even bother voting. And um, like I say, who can blame them? And not, not only do uh, politicians don't really want people to vote, the more people who are uh, alienated, disfranchised, uh, the more their system works for them. But uh, they continue to invoke, uh, invoke uh, new laws that will disenfranchise more and more voters. So once again, making uh, the, uh, the democracy that we supposedly have a charade. And uh, the midterm elections are a perfect example of why um, the democracy become a charade. Not only uh, does the Citizens United uh, flood of money and all the uh, legislation that's come, campaign laws, and, uh, and, er and the whole system, the, even the debates are rigged. Um, the exclusion of any third parties. Um, the whole system uh, uh, has nothing to do with uh, real democracy. And uh, personally, I'd rather re live in a republic than a democracy anyway. But uh, anyway, I guess I'll finish with one last thing, and that's my my catchphrase. Uh, there's really no difference between the Republicans and the Republicans. They're two cheeks on one ass, and they both stink. And um, I, I, they are essentially uh, two uh, sides of one party, and they're barely even sides because uh, once uh, both the, the issues that are really, really important 
to the elites and to the political class and to their handlers are the issues that they all agree on, and that's endless wars, endless spending, uh, and allegiance to Israel, and uh, the surveillance state and the police state. All of that's very important to uh, the Republicans and the Dem Republicans, and they all agree on those things. And all the other issues that they disagree on are just uh, uh, the theater of the absurd, uh, bread and circus uh, for the masses, as long as it continues to work, which this uh, election will prove uh, once again that it does, uh, they will keep using it. So uh, so there we have it. You know, we basically got uh, uh, the Republicans, a party that talks about liberty, but doesn't want to... Uh, uh, restrict uh, uh, government intervention into other people's lives. And the Democrats uh, pretty much are on the same page, too, although they think that all uh, other people's money uh, eventually solves all problems. So uh, so anyway, I could go on about the uh, Republicans and Republicans for quite a while, but uh, I just recommend some of my previous videos. And uh, So there we have it, midterm elections. Wow, so now everything's going to change. Um, of course, the Republicans are going to control things, and, and uh, now the, the, uh, the Republican base, the, the diehards now will rejoice because everything is uh, on the way to being fixed, isn't it? I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too?